Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, I'm Serene, and this is my second channel where I do more lifestyle casual stuff. If you're watching this from my main channel, it's probably because you want to see what I got in the mail. I like to do my PR unboxings throughout the month. I did a lot of stuff. I'm very grateful that I get a lot of great new products to test out for consideration for my blog or for my YouTube channel. And I'm always very honest. I get the stuff for free and it's for consideration as part of my job under no obligation to ever review or talk about any of these products. Um, in fact, sometimes I don't like it and they never send me stuff again. I think you guys like it as much as I like watching unboxings. I do take everything out of the original mail package because it just is easier that way and I don't like having dirty boxes in my house. If you want to see what I got so far for May, then just keep on watching. But if you want to see some other unboxings, click that first link in the description box. I have a whole playlist and you can catch up on all of the fun things that I've gotten in the mail since I made the playlist. So first things first, I am so freaking excited about this. This is the Becca and Chrissy Teigen collection. I think she's so funny and I love that she's gorgeous and beautiful, but like has the best sense of humor ever. So super cute packaging with rose gold. Look how beautiful this looks. It says cooking with Chrissy and then you have all of the little like the ingredients and then you have all of the ways she creates these beautiful looks you getting excited because i missed out on the app it sold out on the sephora app already and so i was kind of bummed and then they sent it to me so so excited um look how beautiful that looks it's just oh, it looks like watercolors and you've got this little heart you've got oh they're just so pretty so rose gold beach nectar and that's Beach Nectar, Malibu Soul, and then Hibiscus Bloom is the, or is this Hibiscus Bloom? Hibiscus Bloom, Malibu Soul, Beach Nectar. No, Beach Nectar and the Rose Gold. It's like upside down. This was really cute also. What's up? that's pretty awesome I have this box from real techniques expose your edge so this I'm so excited look my name's on it look at all the freaking sponges guys like you guys know how much I love sponges but this is like out of control so the first one is this one which I recently purchased and this is the miracle face and body sponge I love how large this one is for like body contouring and like self tanner this one I had no idea they even had this until recently i found out around easter i think and this is the miracle cleansing sponge so you can use it to cleanse your face miracle finish sponge these are the four miracle contour wedges to contour your corners four mir miracle blotting cushions so i think i'm kind of oily right now let's see how this works Is it just me or did that actually do something? I'm not wearing any foundation today, so. Did it just absorb my oils? Multifunctional miracle blotting cushion creates smooth, mattifying shine from finish. Leave one in your purse, makeup bag, vanity, everywhere. Works with foundation and pressed powders for a smooth finish or use it on their own for blotting oily areas. So, two miracle sponges. So this is like this one is kind of like that. Miracle Mini Eraser Sponges keeps your eye makeup popping and mistake free. Miracle Sculpting Sponge creates shadows and highlights. So I think this one's for like sculpting and then this one is to like clean up your eye makeup. Ooh, I like the edge of that. That's so awesome. I totally see myself cleaning stuff up with this. I should wash these before I put them all over my face. There's this one. I thought this one was really interesting because it's like two sponges in one. It's like their complexion sponge, their original one, and then this is like a almost like a beauty blender version. I have four mini comp miracle complexion sponges. So these are the little ones. I think that, yeah, so this one like is almost, it's the same. It just came with, I think these came together. And then this one, no, this came together. So you can get a set together or you can just buy like four of these. 
I actually like these. I did not like the Beauty Blender Minis. I did not work whatsoever for me, but I actually like the flat side of this mini for like going like that. Two real techniques for including me in this. This is really kind of awesome. So if you guys follow me on my Insta stories, and if you don't, you should, at Serene Woo, I recently went to an event with Corez, and it's all about their new black pine 3d sculpting firming and lifting serum eye eye serum so this is their most innovative eye serum or eye product and we did eye fly so basically it st simulates jumping out of an airplane and like flying uh i was totally awkward it was really embarrassing i'm going to insert footage of me trying to skydive and being really nervous about it and by the way i look just like my mom in this footage wouldn't let you go if you left me Wouldn't let you go if we're standing miles apart I'd be a domino I would let you know Through vibrations of me Wouldn't let you go if you left me Wouldn't let you go if we're standing miles apart I'd be a domino You would feel my flow On the ground beneath you Okay, so this is their newest um, product, and I'm really impressed because I actually didn't realize that Carez avoids using mineral oils and petrochemicals, and a lot of the times I avoid products because even though they're good and they're effective, they have ingredients that do irritate my skin at some times, and not all petrochemicals or mineral oils irritate my skin. A little bit is not gonna hurt me. I had no idea that Carez cared that much. So I'm really excited to try this eye cream out, especially around my eyes. It is, it, that's where I get like milia if I am not careful with what I use. They also threw in a couple other products from the Black Pine collection. This is the 3D Sculpting and Firming Sleeping Oil. I got two of the sleeping oils. Firming and Lifting Eye Cream. And then they have a Wild Rose Lip Butter. Oh, there's a rose oil that they make that I didn't even know about. And I was like, where have I been? This sounds amazing. So I got to like test it while we we're at the event and I'm like I need this rose oil so I'm gonna go get it or they said they would send it to me but I'll go buy it if they don't so this is the airplane mode they just put this in the thing because it's kind of cute like defying gravity flying skydiving kind of a thing next up tweezer men sent me this cute little brush thing and this goes around your waist so I remember when I was in high school, I thought it was so cool to have a brush belt, but I couldn't find one. And I wanted to have a brush belt so badly. And now I have a brush belt. This is kind of cool. Um, the Tweezerman brushes like are hit or miss for me. I feel like some of them are really good and some of them are a little bit scratchy. And then some of them are a little bit too soft. So I have to ch test these out and see which ones I like and which ones I don't like. Cause I'm very particular with my brushes. Um, and they also sent me this brush IQ mini face contour brush set. So there's a sponge and then there is a mini like contour brush and like this little, this would look, this would be the perfect size for under my eyes. Cosmetics has a glow more shine less shineless oil free moisturizer this is new because i haven't tried this before this provides long lasting hydration to oily acne prone skin with a lightweight oil free moisturizer that helps reduce the appearance of problematic skin hyperpigmentation and shine with continued use skin will appear firmer smoother and brighter oh well i don't really have oily skin and i don't really have acne prone skin so i'm gonna actually give this to karina who's downstairs i'll give that to her because she has oilier skin than me cosmetics makes really good quality product and some sunglasses to go with it hmm. these are some new lana lips this is the balm sheer tint remember i had that like crazy allergic reaction on my lips where i just had blistering all along so i found out what it, that was from but I don't know if it was because I was already sensitive from sun exposure and I think I had a sunburn on my lips from being on the yacht and then I was exposed to ingredients I was kind of sensitive to. The Tata Harper Lip Balm doesn't have any petrochemicals but I don't know what's in it that I might be allergic to and a couple of you guys actually told me that you can develop an allergic reaction to beeswax and lanolips or lanolin which is in a lot of 
products. So I haven't used Lana Lips since that moment because I was worried it was lanolin, but I don't think it is because I used to really like lanolips. Um, I love their body cream and I really do like lanolips typically because it's just, it's comfortable. It's petrochemical free. Um, I know it is kind of like some people get weirded out because it's made from sheep's uh, skin, not skin, oil, that kind of thing. My lips are kind of dry, so... Mm, I kind of like this. I hope I'm not allergic to it. But I really like that tint. That's nice. It smells good. It's not minty or fruity. It's just like a nice slight vanilla scent. I really like that. So excited. Bite Beauty sent me this. And it is... I have no idea what it is, but they like shrink wrapped it. So I'm so excited. I love Bite Beauty. Um, I used to love their agave lip mask, which I haven't used since that allergic reaction because I was worried that I was I developed an allergic reaction to it. But I'm slowly like trying things again. I have to go get scissors. I'll be right back. I buy a lot of lip pencils. I bought a lip pencil during the Sephora VIB sale, and I have to say I quite enjoy it. They don't last as long as the MAC ones, but they're way softer and creamier and better for you because they're on your lips. And, you, and this is all food grade. Oh, when they gave me a sharpener, thank you so much. So I try to sharpen my lip liner that I paid for and bought today, this morning when I was getting ready, and it completely snapped in half. I lost like maybe two inches of product. I was devastated because I used like a crappy pencil sharpener. Anyway, so this is the lip pencil bite. Opaque Precision Coverage. 28 New Dramatic Shades. Are the new shades that they came out with? Ooh, there's a black one. Okay, so I've been watching this YouTuber. I can't remember her name right this second. She's French. She's so cool. And she was showing how she uses black liner or black colors to give that like almost a rose petal effect to her lips in the car and i was like oh my god why don't i own black lipstick because i would never think to do that probably not with my current situation i probably just look like i sucked on a blueberry popsicle i definitely just did not do that properly, but I'm very excited. So this is what I will be doing once I perfect that. But that's kind of what she did. Like she put the black on the inner corners, but this was of course after she did like a really, ow, a really bold red lip. That's in the shade 054. Also got, ooh, this is really pretty. This is 078, like cherry red. This one's calling my name. This is in the shade 100. 074 like orangey red <sighs> what i like about these is i can i can line my lips and then kind of smudge it and still get that really pretty color and line and definition but because they're so creamy i can kind of like get away with it being a little bit messier because i'm really into that like i try but i didn't try that hard look this is 092 which looks like a Fuchsia. Oh no, this one's just so creamy, it fell apart. It's a pretty color. I think that's kind of like the downside of these. They're so creamy, they just kind of break. Then I have this one, which is 046. Ooh, this is a pretty brown. I have two lipsticks. So this is in Cayenne. So excited. I've seen this on their Instagram. This is such a beautiful red. <laughs> Look how creamy that is. Honey, can you grab me some baby wipes? From where? From my makeup room. I'm not supposed to be a pastor. I don't know. Like a ninja. Hey, and then ho, this is hey, in the shade. Maybe. Hey, <laughs> Nobody wants to see your feet. And this is in the shade kimchi. Ooh. Um, in the drawer. Oh, the drawer. There's a million drawers in here. Thank you. Not purposely sticking your crotch in the camera. So I placed an order at Glossier because I really love the Super Bounce 
and I ran out of it or I was getting low and then I ran out right before this got here. This reminds me a lot of the SkinCeuticals B5 that is a little bit more pricey, but I love this one. I think it's great, like simple hydrating serum. I have a naked self tan from Naked Skin, natural tan tinted lotion, gradual to medium color. So this is organic botanicals and toxic free. Um, BoxyCharm sent me this Temp2 and BoxyCharm liquid glow. This actually looks really good. I really like Temp2 air, the little handheld air, um, airbrush. Yeah, it's called airbrush. Oh wow, that's beautiful. Oh, it's very subtle. I really like that though. Ooh, I really like this. These. This is like gorgeous packaging. I forget. This is from Twilla True, and I think they are a nail polish brand. The packaging is really luxe. It's Chow Bella. So I definitely will try that on my nails. This is the True Renewal Oil with True Power Complex Plum Fragrance. It helps nourish the hands, body, and hair with benefits of grape seed, apricot, avocado, argan, and kukui nut oils. Hmm, let me smell this. It's very fruity. Here, hand cream with True Power Complex, fragrance free. I do appreciate that. It really is fragrance free. Where were you when I worked at Starbucks? We weren't allowed to wear anything with fragrance when we worked at Starbucks because the coffee beans would absorb the fragrance, but your hands would like die from washing them all the time. This is in sunset and sunscreen. So this is really pretty, probably for my toes. Wonders, Wander Seekers, so it's a pretty blue. And this is in Give Me a Squeeze, kind of like lemon. <laughs> Garnier sent me some new shampoo and conditioner. This is the Pure Clean Silicone Free Fortifying Conditioner with Citric Extract. For normal to oily hair, it's 94% biodegradable packaging, so that's pretty awesome. They're doing a whole campaign about um, recycling and being more environmentally friendly. EA is trying to go back to its roots by being cleaner, so they did remove silicones from a lot of their products, which is really hard to find for drugstore prices. Skin Organics sent me some bath bombs, and oh my god, this smells so good so this is the lavender lemon muffin bath bomb this is mermaid kiss bath bomb sugar rose bath bomb strawberry milkshake of potion bath bombs caribbean coconut bath bomb i think this one's my favorite these are a gift set of six extra large organic bath bombs and uh yeah that's kind of cool these are mac and laura lee and gabriel's Lipsticks, I got them literally a month later because they'd just been sitting in my, um, where I live's mail room because nobody told me I had a package and I would go and get my packages and nobody would give the, me these. So I was kind of like really upset that I missed out, but better late than never. So I'm so excited for these. I'm just, I'm just so like, I, I think it's amazing that a brand like Mac is collaborating with influencers or YouTubers. Like, that's just incredible. The thing is so cute. This is like her matte, like beige nude. So pretty. I would mix this with a little bit more of a mauvey lip. Lip liner, I mean, so that I could get a little bit more depth to my lips because this is a little bit light for my personal taste. This is um, Gabriel's. I love the shade he came out with. This is a little bit more like of a brownie. So it's, I feel like not as light for me. So excited for them. I'm so, so excited for them. Thank you so much, Mac, for sending these to me because they sold out so freaking quick. I was really sad that I didn't get my hands on it and I hope they make more because it sucks that they sold out so quickly. I mean, it's good, but it sucks. Like, make more. I have a little package from Fresh. So this is the new Rose Deep Hydrate Hydrating Facial Toner. I'm so excited about it, mainly because of how beautiful this looks. This looks amazing, and it's super hydrating. It's got actual rose petals in here. Like, how? How do they do that? 
They also gave me the Fresh Rose Face Mask. This is one of the smaller sizes. I have the full size and I absolutely love it, especially when I, my skin's feeling overworked and over dry. So this is really, really good. Some more Lux Me, Lux Me, Lux Me products. Um, I really love the Melt. And so they also have a cream and you can use this day and night, whereas the Melt is very, very hydrating and very oily. So you can use that more for like your lips, your super dry areas and under your eyes at night. So these are amazing. Um, they do wonderful things. They provide jobs for women. And when you open this up, you actually see I talked about this briefly before, but once you open it up, you actually see the per this little stamp and seal and you can go online, put in that code and find out about the woman who actually harvested and made this product for you. This is a perfume and I, I want to say, I can't really read this. I think it's the With Love Natalie, Natalie. Top notes are freesia, neroli, burgardi, zest, and rose oil. Heart notes are natural garden gardenia wrapped with orange flower, jasmine, and I can't pronounce that one. Smaller size of the perfume. Oh, I really like this. This smells really good. It's really fresh. I'll actually wear that. And this one is with love, Natalie. And it's a spray. I love that. What does this smell like? It smells like a little bit stronger version of Natalie. It's really good though. I just have to make sure it doesn't turn on me. And then this is the Natalie Natural Spray. Here is the Urban Decay Go Naked PR package that they sent me. And I already have almost everything except for this Go Naked perfume oil. What is this perfume oil? I don't know how I feel about this perfume oil. I kind of like it, but I kind of don't. I have to smell it more. But they also sent me Naked, Naked 2, and Naked 3. So I already own all three of these palettes. So guess what? I'll be giving these away because I don't need two of every palette. Father sent me a little care package and this is the Chia Seed and Passion Fruit Exfoliating Gel, a moisturizing scrub with omega-3 and fruit enzymes. I absolutely love Lather. They're all organic and natural, so it's a really good brand. Um, I feel like people don't talk about them as much because they're not as easily accessible as Lush. But this is the Cucumber and Ginseng Facial Mist, a refresher to enjoy throughout the day. I could use a refresher. That's a spray. That smells really good. Now that I'm all wet. It smells really good. It smells just like cucumber water. They sent me a Konjac facial sponge. Deodorant, lavender and bergamot deodorant cream. It's an aluminum free odor neutralizer with absorbent bamboo powder. Always on a hunt for a good natural deodorant. The most exciting thing is, this is one of my absolute favorite products from Lather, Bamboo Lemongrass Foaming Body Scrub. So this like will scrub you until you decide to stop scrubbing because the bamboo doesn't dissolve. It just keeps exfoliating and it foams up and then you rinse it off and you feel amazing. And it doesn't have all of that like greasy residue that a lot of scrubs have, which I do like because it leaves a nice film on your skin and you feel really hydrated, but this actually just rinses completely off. And the best part is you won't die in your tub because it doesn't leave all of that like greasy, soapy residue on your tub. So it just rinses down the drain. It's biodegradable because it's just bamboo. Uh, love, love, love this stuff. Pretty heavy package from L'Oreal. I'm excited about this micellar water. I love that drugstores in the U.S. are now coming out with way more affordable micellar waters. This is the Infallible Total Cover Color Corrector Kit and Concealing and Contour Kit. I've got this new brow stylist uh, Kabuki Blender. This might be a little bit too warm for me. This is the Visible Lift Radiance Booster Brightening Primer. The Invisible Total Cover Foundation. I actually haven't tried this yet and I was really interested in it. My friend Samantha really likes this one. I like the Infallible Pro Matte. Let's see if this is the right shade. Oh, I could work with this. Oh, this is really nice. This is not what I was expecting. But this is Creamy Natural 302 and it looks like it will match me. They also sent me like 
deeper shades. I'm gonna keep sand beige too in case I get a tan. I can try either one of these out. I remember Samantha said that it's not the same shade. Like what you think is on the outside, don't pay attention to it, which makes it kind of hard to buy. So this is the Voluminous Original. I love the original mascara, but this is in blue, cobalt blue, which is fun. The Revitalift Triple Power Intensive Skin Revitalizing Serum and Moisturizer. Here's the sponge. I really love the way this sponge feels. Um, the one I purchased though, I only got two uses out of before it ripped. So I don't know, some of you guys said you didn't have a problem with it. Some of you guys said you did. I think it depends on the batch. The Air Dry It Ruff, Ruffled Body Mousse Heat Free Style. Ooh, I hate using heat. This is frizz resistant and then air dry it wave swept spray undone style cream. I like the packaging of this. And H Perfect Cell Renewal Rosy Tone Moisturizer for mature, dull skin. Nude Sticks is launching this Nude Sticks Babe Boss Fave Box, six lip and cheek colors. And you'll open this up and you have Samantha, um, I'm Karen O, you, uh, Lynette, Jay Lise, and Cynthia from and they're the babe bosses for this. They picked out their shades. You're gonna, you can get a collection of six. I really like this tin. This is totally something I travel with and fill with things I like because um, some of these I like, some of these I don't like the shades. They have burgundy, which is the magnetic matte lip. They have Sin, which is the original lip and cheek, I think, or Stiletto, which is intense matte. Um, gel color impulse which I already own and then purity intense matte and boho magnetic matte there's a lot of matte I like their original formula for every single day because it goes on your cheeks better and that's like a two-in-one it's a good try it tin if you haven't tried nude sticks but want to try their lip and cheek stuff this is a new mascara from thrive cosmetics thrive is really great they are organic they're cruelty free and they give back for each purchase they give back newest mascara called the length plus volume and they sent this with an orchid which was really pretty liquid lash extensions mascara Ico sent me some stuff this is the mascara off eye makeup remover wipes quick and easy olive oil to smooth aloe extract to soothe 10 pure cotton wipes your amazing oh black magic liquid eyeliner yes lash enhancing and this is the felt tip Skinny Liquid Eyeliner Line and Define. This is a brush tip though, I think. Brow Game Strong. Oh my gosh, Danny from um, Coffee Bird with Danny loves this stuff, so I have to try this. And this is the Lash Alert Mascara Wake Up and Go. I love their mascaras. They make really good mascaras. Vene High Protection SPF 50 UVA UVB Complexion Correcting Shield. It's a mineral sunscreen, fragrance-free, oil-free, for sensitive skin, it has the Skin Cancer Foundation seal on it, and it is chemical-free, so this is really kind of cool. Team Dioxide and Zinc Oxide combination. I got the shade Medium because I think the Medium shade is what will match me the best. I might have, maybe I should have gotten light. It's really orangey. It actually might work. I don't know, I have to see. It's available in three shades, so they do have a dark shade that will hopefully work for those of you guys with deeper skin tones. So there was a video on YouTube recently of talking about sunscreen and some and people were a little upset because uh, the person seemed to be biased towards the chemical one because it was a certain brand. And I was reading the comments and a lot of people defended her because they're saying that they had darker skin tones and couldn't find a physical SPF that didn't create a white cast. And I think that physical SPF gets a really bad rap because nowadays there's amazing, amazing tinted SPFs out there that are physical, work beautiful with deeper skin tones. Like Color Science makes amazing ones for deeper skin tones. Bare Republic has some tinted ones. I don't know if they're tinted deep enough for darker skin tones, but MD Solar Science, Dr. Brandt's coming out with some. I just think there are a lot of options out there for physical, and if it's a thing about like you just don't like physical sunscreen, that's totally fine. Do whatever you like. Make the decision though based on your own opinion. Don't listen to what other people are saying. Do your research, talk to your dermatologist, and talk to your estheticians and the people around you, and make the decision based on 
what you like and what is going to work for your lifestyle chemical spf is deemed safe but um i think we are at a disadvantage in the u.s because there are better and more advanced options in other countries and unfortunately we're kind of behind on the times so for what we have available i personally prefer a physical spf for every single day on my face and i only do 30 or higher anything under 30 i don't count it as protection and that's just because of talking to my dermatologist and it's what's worked for me and physical just makes me feel better i also do use physical and chemical combined and i also do use chemical spf for my lips and on my eyelid from real her and it's a shadow palette this was sent to me from boxycharm so it must be like uh coming soon to boxycharm Ooh, this is really pretty look how pretty these are super pretty and finally i have the it cosmetics qvc today special value that is launching on the 13th the bye bye makeup bye bye lines bye bye under eyes and bye bye pores illumination this is new really excited about this i love the bye bye pores original qvc it cosmetics they always do great little packages i also just recently did a get ready with me featuring qvc um and cew about how 80 percent of the purchases on may 18th from 6 p.m eastern standard time to 8 p.m eastern standard time is going to careers and cancer and that's just unheard of 80 percent of what you're spending not counting tax and shipping is going to go towards careers and cancer to help women get back on their feet or stay in in the workplace while overcoming cancer and I think that's amazing so i support that and i have a get ready with me using the products from that sale yeah guys that is everything i have to share with you for this video if you want to see more make sure you subscribe to this channel it's called more serene or check back here periodically i also have a playlist on my main channel that shows whatever is going on on this channel so just go over there if you don't want to subscribe yeah i will see you guys next time i have some diys planned i've just been too busy to do them and not motivated to do them when i do have the time because i rather sit and eat and watch tv <laughs> hope you guys are having a wonderful wonderful day i just hope my video helped you unwind de-stress and i hope you guys enjoy watching and seeing what i get in the mail leave me a comment follow me on all of my social medias everything is at serene woo check out my blog and i will see you guys next time bye